Hey guys, I'm Catherine, and today I'm going to show you a Google Chrome extension that my friend George and I made, and we were inspired by the poorly formatted comments on YouTube, and so people had questions about 30 Days of Code or about other things, and they would post their code in the comments, and it would be very poorly formatted because, you know, it's in plain text, and so you don't have, you know, pretty GitHub here, which shows you, you know, gorgeous code if I go to this here's some source code, It's it lays it out pretty for you. Like it's all formatted, you know, there's color coding, it's great. But in the YouTube comments, it's all, you know, in plain text and so you can't see it. So say I watch a video and we'll go and navigate to a video. And say we watch this video and it's about, you know, string manipulation and we wanna test, you know, oh, how can we do st string manipulation? How do we do that? Like we wanna practice. And one of the things we did in this video was reversing a string. So say you wanna practice that. Well, you can go and just Google search gists and it'll load and it'll pull up this thing called GitHub. And GitHub is just a place where you can share your code, instantly share code notes, you know? And so here we could actually code whatever we wanted to practice from this video. And so say we wanted to do a reverser.java, <laughs> say we wanted to do that and we wanted to call this class reverser. There we go, we have this class and we'll have a public uh, static void main with a string array as arguments. Say we wanted to create a method that's like reverse a string. And so to do this, we would have to create a starter string that's our original. And so let's just type up this code bit. So hello. And then we would need a string that's going to hold our reverse. And so we'll just make that the empty string for now. And then to like do this, how would we create like ole in our rev string? Well, we could do a for loop starting at original dot length minus one and then continue like, you know, iterating, going over it while i is greater than zero. And then we would decrement i until it got two below zero and then we would do things. And then we would go rev equals rev plus original dot char at and then i so here if we started with hello this would start off as like the empty string and then we would get the char at o and so then we'd have o or the char at the you know this last character or this last you know we'd get o and then we would iterate through again through it again and rev would be the string with o in it and then the char at the length minus two would be l and you'd keep going and you'd get ole but this code isn't particularly correct so say I wanted to run this in Sublime or something, and we would need to print it out to test if it works or didn't work. And so print ln rev. And so say we wrote this up, we think it works, but it doesn't, we get, so we get all of the letters. This would actually produce ole. It would just produce that. And why would that produce? Why would that happen? Well, because we don't have an equal here, because this goes from the length minus one all the way to one, not to zero, if we you know, don't have the equal sign. But say I didn't know that. Well, we'll create this gist, and it's just a snippet of code, and I can grab this gist, and I can copy and paste it and say, hey, why doesn't this work? And then we can copy and paste the gist, we can post it, it's commented, and you know, this link, we can click the link and it will take us to this page. But could we embed this thing inside of the video? Yes, we could. And how we would do that is we would go here and we would click our justify, and it justifies our thing. And so here now, our code is embedded in here with the pretty formatting from GitHub, but it's right here so I can just look at it and see, oh, that's where it is. And as long as you keep this public, like when we created it, we made it public, anyone's gonna be able to see this and it's gonna show up in here. And this will also work for replies saying like, oh, I figured it out. We'll go and we'll create a new gist and it's gonna have everything that the other gist had and so we will copy and paste this, but we're gonna fix our mistake. We know, whoops, we know that we should have the equal sign here and so we will call this reverser um, dot Java two. And so we'll call it the second version of that and then we have everything else, we're happy with it. We have our class reverser, we'll call this reverser two. Yep, it looks great. And so we'll create this public gist. It is reverse two. And now I can copy this and I can paste it in here. 
and now that's great. And then I can save it and then I can re-justify. And there we go. Now we have our reverser and our reverser too. And we will want to do this in two separate gists because that way we can see like, okay, what was the mistake? What was the original? And then what was the final version that we came up with, you know, after you, you know, worked through it and found your mistakes and fixed it and worked it out. And so that's great. Now, how would you find this justify here? This is our magic little tool. How did we find it? Well, we can go to the Chrome Web Store. You know, go to the Chrome Web Store, and there it is. And all you have to do is, because the app is named Justify, you can just search. Here we go, Justify. Justify, there we go. We can search for it. And of course, you know, no one else is named like that, and so there it is. You can go and rate it, you know, give it five stars, add it to your Chrome extension. Here's another example of Justify and stuff like that. Oh, look, that would be my friend, you know, rating it five stars because literally staged comment right here, you know, same person. Yeah, so I hope you liked this video. I hope this tool will be helpful to you if you ever have any questions about anything, like whether it's on my videos or someone else's videos, you'll be able to portray your code in a better way versus in just plain text. You know, you can go download it. If you're interested in how this Justify thing was created, I'll link the code down below and I'll also link where this description, whoa, this is really weird. Okay, I'll also link like where this Justify thing is and so you can just click on the link versus going to the web store but of course you can go to the web store um so yeah i will see you next friday <laughs>